Hey, what's up everyone? My, I wish I could redo that. I guess if I edit these videos, I could redo that. Um, what I want to say was this is my third um, unboxing video of today. I'm just doing them back to back to back to back. And uh, I basically have uh, been babbling on these videos. <laughs> nah. Um, They've been pretty, not the most interesting to be honest. I unboxed these Amazon batteries and this baking sheet. Um, after this unboxing right here, I got one more left. Uh, pretty sure this is gonna be a three for one unboxing. Um, let's see. Uh, yep, there should be three items. I'll start from what I would consider the most boring to the least boring. They're all kind of, uh, eh. Not the most interesting stuff, to be frank. But, uh, got some tape here. Let me see, this is Scotch Sure Start Shipping Tape, Packaging Tape. 1.88 to 38.2 yards, two rolls, one dispenser. Um, quite an easy unwind, Sure Start. Um, so I bought this just as to have, uh, you know, around the apartment, but uh, as I mentioned in my other videos, I've been cooking a lot, and the main reason I, the main usage of tape for me lately, which is kind of strange I think, is um, if I open up like a package, I don't know, let's say a bunch of corn, like wrapped in plastic, or I don't know, grilled chicken breasts, or burger patties, whatever it is, I open up the plastic and there's not usually a good way to reseal it. And maybe it doesn't matter if it's frozen, I honestly don't know, but I like the idea of like sealing, sealing again. Maybe it's like an OCD thing, I don't know, maybe it's pointless, but uh, I've been using tape to like reseal things that I open, um, that I'm cooking and putting back in the fridge. So that's the main reason I bought this tape. Uh, let me see if I can quickly find some details on it uh, blah 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 paid $5.97 for it uh, easy start every time unwind, unwind smoothly and quietly strong durable hot melt adhesive blah 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 uh, stronger is better so yeah I used to actually ship a lot of stuff uh, I used to sell stuff I'm also sweating a lot uh, seems like a good idea to take a shower before you go on to film these videos, but uh, I think the, my body temperature after coming out of the shower is not adjusting, so I'm kind of sweating. With that said, um, what well, I was gonna say, I used to pack, I used to send a lot of packages. Um, I used to sell like random crap on eBay once in a while, and uh, I would generally buy this tape. I've used duct tape on all sorts, of, eh, all sorts of other stuff, but this was the stuff that um, I think I liked the best. Uh, let's see if there's anything else scrolling down. Oh my goodness. All right, 4.2 out of 5 stars. 209 customer reviews. Uh, number 4 for office products for tape. Um, how big is the center core? <laughs> this is pretty funny. Uh, big enough to get a child's hand, small hand in. Oh crap, I like have a child's hand, I guess. Um, or something, yeah. Probably would have got more views if I got my hand stuck, but uh, what else? Uh, is each row 38 yards or is that a total of both rows added together? Um, each row is 38 yards, comes with a nice dispenser. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, and I paid $5.97, free shipping, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's it for here. I'm gonna add to the pile of stuff I've unboxed. Let's see, all right, next up. Oh wait, I wanna do this last, I think that's the coolest thing I got. All right, pretend you did not see that. KitchenAid, kitchen shears. Again, I've been cooking a lot and I bought, um, I've been using like this boot, not bootleg, but uh, it's like crappy old knife I ha I've had for like 10 years. I'm sure when I bought it, it wasn't even like a half decent kni knife, but you know, sometimes you need um, like, it's easier to cut stuff with the uh, scissors and so, I've seen my mom cook in the kitchen, seen her chop stuff up, some, you know, Korean, um, like, kabi. You know, you shouldn't be cutting that with a knife. It's just ridiculous. 
even though I'm not making that, but point is, I feel like I've needed these scissors, haven't had them, finally decide to uh, pay the couple bucks to get it. So these were $7.18, and here we go. Uh, it's an Amazon's Choice plastic guard include, oh, plastic guards, this thing. I'm gonna try to open this and uh, this packaging seems a little dicey, but maybe not. All right. Uh, all right, there we go. Just for kicks, let's just uh, cut through this and see. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. I'm liking it. Now I'm gonna cut open this thing. I, I personally feel like this plastic guard is unnecessary. Maybe it's good to have around kids or something. Uh, I'd rather it not have come and not to be charged the extra 50 cents or whatever, but yeah, I'll deal with it. Um, what else? Stainless steel blades, clean cut every time. Each blade features micro serrations for enhanced cutting performance and are extra thick for added strength and durability. Comfort, comfort grip handle. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good handle. Dishwasher safe, hand wash is recommended, but these shears are dishwasher safe. To those of you that actually have a uh, dishwasher, that's pretty cool, I bet. Uh, I don't have a dishwasher, so it's meaningless to me. Uh, what else? Let's see what people on Amazon have for questions. If they have questions, all right, maybe up. Oh. Can these be taken apart for cleaning? So that seems to be a popular question. Can they be taken apart for cleaning? Answer, no. 13 votes up. Uh, what else we got? Will these cut through the chicken bones or are they just for meat and fat? I need one to cut up a whole chicken into pieces. Someone said, I wrote a review about these. My experience was that after just a few weeks, they were no longer cutting very well and after about two months, they were done. Wow, that's not a good review for me to read right now. Or answer, I should say. Uh, I use them for cutting rabbit meat, which is very... Very like chicken meat. Damn, I kind of feel bad. Rabbits are pretty cute. Um, I probably have eaten rabbit at some point, but still, I don't, I don't like this visual now. Uh, at first, they work great for meat, bone, and all, but like I said, after a very short, I'm not gonna read the rest. So I guess if you're cutting into bones with this, these bad boys, probably not as um, might not last as long. With that said, I don't plan on using it for that purpose, so I think I'll be okay. And what else we got? Uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars. That's a freaking good uh, good score, though, overall. Uh, yeah. Gonna move these to the pile. And here we go. For some reason, I think this is the coolest purchase, or the most interesting one. Second generation silicone brushes. Now, again, I have been cooking stuff, and... I did it to save money, but like with all this stuff I'm buying, I'm probably, who knows when it's gonna, I'm gonna break even on all this stuff now. Um, and again, what I've been doing, let's say I'm trying to marinate a piece of chicken or something like that. I just kind of like dribbled some olive oil and just kind of like took a fork and, and like tried to smear it around. Just didn't work so effectively. I mean, at the end of the day, I guess it kind of got the job done. Uh, but I was like, you know, time to step it up. Let's get some silicone basting brushes or uh, it's a long freaking title for these. M Kitchen World Silicone Basting Barbecue Pastry Oil Brush Orange Turkey Baster Barbecue Utensil Used for Grilling and Marinating Desserts Baking Set of Two with Two Recipe Electronic Books. Whoa, where's the Electronic Recipes book? Oh, interesting. I'm not going to use that. Anyways. Made in China, so uh, did not support USA on this one, but probably because I wanted the cheap ones and six ninety nine for these two bad boys. I feel like I actually paid more. Hold on, did I actually? No, nope, I actually paid six ninety nine. That seems like a really freaking cheap price. Oh man, they got a nice feel. This is not. Ooh, this feels kind of nice. Um, you know, I don't need two of these freaking things. To be frank, maybe I'll offer them up to one of my neighbors in my building, but I have two. Uh, oh, they're slightly different sized. Uh, man, this feels kind of nice. Feels, hmm. uh, anyway, $6.99. Uh, another Amazon's choice. Blah, blah, blah. Let me, should I read some features? No more hair in your food. Ah, uh, if 
you get like a standard brush, I think that's what they mean. The bristles will not break or shed in your food like old brushes. They're heat resistant up to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Can be used in the kitchen, the grill, and on nonstick pans. Prevent bacteria mold buildup, blah, 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 blah. What else? Easy to hang. They do have these little holes to hang them up. I gotta say for $6.99, it's a pretty sweet product, I'd say. Number one in kitchen and dining for basting brushes. And questions. Are the Mahal brushes stain resistant? I don't even know what the Mahal brushes are, but I assume that's what I, these are. I don't know. Um, so yes, the Mahal brushes are stain resi resistant. They are dishwasher safe too. So again, if you have dishwasher, good for you guys. You can throw them in there, it seems. Does it come with handles? Mine only came with two brush heads. Ugh, that, that person got ripped off. Each brush came with its own handle, as you can see. Doesn't seem like you can pull it apart. Um, Anyway, safety use with food, easy to clean, premium quality. This is the longest unboxing video I believe I have. It was three in one. I did ramble as usual. Uh, but I really like this one. I think this one's gonna be pretty cool to use finally. Uh, I'm excited to, to test this out. Maybe tonight, I think I'm gonna make, bake some salmon um, and brush some, what do you brush on salmon? Olive oil, butter? Barbecue sauce would be cool, but I don't think you, I don't think that's a thing, really. Barbecue sauce and salmon? No, actually, probably is a thing, but I don't think I'll do that. Anyways, thank you for watching this video to my, I believe, 77 or 78 subscribers. 78 subscribers. Oh, whoa, three in the last 28 days. Thank you very much. Any day now, I have 100. 22 more people, I'm at 100. Plus 22, multiply that times 100, then I'll be at 10,000, and that's why I've made it, so... All I have to do is add 22 more people, multiply that times 100, and then I'll have 10,000 subscribers. Pretty close, guys. Or not. Thank you for watching, and I actually have one more unboxing. Oh my gosh, it's kind of heavy right here coming up next.